Welcome to the Fit 15 Podcast Show, where you'll find health and fitness inspiration, motivation, and information shared in 15-minute episodes. Tune in while getting a move on to make leading and enjoying the benefits of a healthy lifestyle almost too easy. It's the Fit 15. And now your host, Katherine Basu. Welcome to the Fit 15 Podcast Show. I'm your host, Katherine Basu. And if you missed yesterday's episode, I want you to go back and listen to that because I had on my friend and fellow business owner here in Los Angeles, Nellie Gonzalez Venhouse, and we really had a fun conversation, and she shared a lot of great inspiration for your fitness journey and also your personal and professional journey. So I hope you'll go back and check that out. Nellie and I are actually partnering up to do something fun tomorrow, March 20th, 2019. So if you missed that, definitely check that that out as well. It will be happening live at 6 p.m., for those of you on the West Coast and 9 p.m. for those of you on the East Coast of the U.S. So I hope you'll join us for that. Wanted to mention that because today's guests are actually two individuals who have come together to create a business together. So Nellie and I don't have a business together yet. Maybe if we start one, it will be probably travel-based, I would assume. We'll have to see. Nelly, I'm going to put that out there for you if you want to start a business with me. But today's guest, as you might have guessed, that's that's a little tongue twister there, have come together to create a health-focused business. So my guests are Midori Verity and Brad Davidson, and they are the founders of Mox Life, which is focused on guiding busy women through a mind-body reset so they can easily lose weight, feel unstoppably confident to soar professionally and personally. Midori is a seasoned transformation and relationship coach and host of The Shift Show. Brad is a metabolism strategist and author of Stark Naked 21 Day Metabolic Reset. Clientele include A-list celebrities, professional athletes, as well as stay-at-home moms. So welcome to the podcast, Midori and Brad. It's such an honor to have you both as my guests today. Thanks for having Excited to be here. Excited to be here. Awesome. I know it's always, it's fun when we have the two, the two people, right? You guys have to figure out who's going to answer first. A right? <laughs> <laughs> little juggling today. But no, um, really excited to have you guys share with us more about Mox Life. So maybe could you tell us what mox life is first and what the inspiration for creating this was for the listeners yeah so what it is it's a system and it's all about guiding busy professional women such as yourself Mm -hmm. through what's called a mind body reset and the goal of it is so that they can easily lose the weight and also feel this unstoppable confidence so they can break through those those mindsets that they have to get to a whole new level personally and professionally Mm -hmm. So that's what it's about, but the story behind it is a little bit interesting. And that was, so let me just tell you about that. A while back, I've known Brad for a few years now, and I know how genius he is and how awesome his, his metabolic program is, but I hadn't talked to him in a while. And I was going through just kind of a period of my life where I felt out of control with my health and my weight and this like a detachment from my business things weren't going the way that I wanted Mm. and this was going on for a period of time and I remember being in the middle of the night when I couldn't sleep which I was having a lot a lot of sleepless nights I remember thinking oh my god is this how I'm gonna feel for the rest of my life am I going to always feel stuck Mm. in my body and in my career forever and just it was like this heavy feeling. So I decided at that moment, I'm like, okay, the one thing I can do is I remember Brad's program. I'm like, I'm going to wake up in the morning and I'm going to start back on what was, he has a, Brad has a book, Brad, sorry, I'm talking for you, but he has a book called Stark Naked 21 Day Metabolic Reset. I had done it before and I thought that's something easy to do and I can get at least the control over what I'm putting into my body. Mm. So I'm going to start that in the morning. So I started that. And I also started doing, I started using these kind of these mindset tools that I use with my clients. I started using that on myself again. Mm -hmm. And within two weeks 
of doing his metabolic reset and then also using my brain, you know, my mindset tools every single morning, I was jumping out of bed and I had this like insane amount of clarity and busting out the scenes with energy and just kind of this refresh and drive into my business mm-hmm. and into myself. And then also the side benefit was I was losing weight. <laughs> and so at that moment, I'm like, I have, I was so energized. I just had to call Brad. And so I did, I saw his phone and I'm like, Brad, you are so missing the point of your book <laughs> and of your program. Cause he was, it was designed towards in fact, Brad, you can take over, um, you know, talking about your program, but, it was designed towards a different group. And I'm like, you need to be going after women like me, Mm -hmm. these normal women who want more out of life and need kind of that, that boost Mm -hmm. to get us back on track and, and reaching our goals. So that's, that's how it all came about. Awesome. Yeah. Anything you want to add, Brad, since (laughs) (laughs) about what your metabolic reset is, because I just totally didn't discover that, but it's freaking awesome. Yeah, no, I like hearing you talk about it. Um, (laughs) You speak on it, you speak on it really well. Like you bring the, bring the highlight, all the benefits Mm -hmm. of it. Um, So my, my background was, um, I was this hard charging, high achieving gym owner, fitness guy that was super dedicated to how I looked. Mm -hmm. Uh, at 33, I did something crazy and went out for the U.S. bobsled team just to prove how good my stuff was <laughs> and had this massive body transformation because really in so much of what the industry in regards to fitness and nutrition tells us is all that matters is how you look. Mm. And if you do everything you can to change how you look and get super aggressive with it, somehow life's going to be amazing, right? Like mm. one day you're going to hit that goal weight or that body pepper percentage and ah, <laughs> the amazing life. Well, <laughs> what happened to me was I, I made the U.S. team. I was training with all these kids that were 10 years younger than me and I was competing. I looked insane. I remember <laughs> one time I had to have a photo shoot done with my shirt off and <laughs> I'm a dad, right? So uh, I don't hang out in the sun a whole lot. I live in Southern California, mm-hmm. but I had this horrible farmer's tan. And so they made me get a spray tan. I never had one before, like a, rever- like a reverse farmer's tan spray tan. <laughs> and I took my shirt off and the girl that was gonna spray me was like, oh my God, you look like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. <laughs> and at that point I thought, I've made it. All right, friends, that is your halfway point reminder. If you are joining us and only have 15 minutes and are going on an out and back walk, you'll want to turn around now. All right, back to my guests. Like I have arrived. Mm -hmm. Like I I hit this magical moment. The, The whole world talks about in fitness and life should be great. And I will not lie to you within a matter of weeks. All of a sudden, my physiology crashed, and I, I, I went to the doctor. I'm like, something's really wrong. Hair was falling out of my face. My wife was like, what is wrong with you? Yeah. I'm like, I don't know. And I get the results back from my lab, and my doctor's like, um, hey, uh, you know, first off, you're diabetic. I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm diabetic. I haven't wow. had a carb in 10 months because <laughs> super fit people don't eat carbs because they're bad for you. So you're lying. He's like, your labs tell me you're diabetic. Uh, you have extreme hypothyroidism. I'm like, fuck, I got like a 15 pack of my abs. Like, this is not hypothyroidism. He's like, I don't care if you have a 20 pack. You're screwed. I got to give you blood sugar meds. I give you thyroid meds. And then here's the kicker. You got the testosterone levels of an 85 year old sick man. Oh, jeez. I looked at him and I'm like, oh my God, like, why does he got to be sick? He said, well, I have men in their mid 80s that have higher testosterone levels than you do. Look at how you look right now. Mm-hmm. So I need to recommend you need to take testosterone shots as well. And so I, I'm like, oh my gosh, well, okay, what about these patches of hair falling out of my face? And he's like, well, that's an autoimmunity from too much stress. I'm like, great, give me the drug for that because it looks really bad. And he said, well, there isn't one. You just need to stress less. Mm. And at that point, I'm like, what do you mean? I'm not stressed. Like, I handle stress really well. And he's like, obviously, you don't. <laughs> um, so that began the journey of I, I walk in this doctor's office thinking I'm the epitome of health because right. it looks so good. Right. And I find out very quickly that. I'm closer to death than I am to optimal living, but boy, I look good. Mm-hmm. Like all of a sudden it became totally meaningless to look good. Mm-hmm. But at that point, nobody knew how to fix me. This was back in 2008. Like nobody knew what to do with me. And so that kind of started my journey on this whole idea of, oh, maybe it takes more than just extreme exercise and extreme dieting to get super healthy. Yeah. And, and maybe you take that step to an extreme 
it's not giving us what they promised to give us. And so that kind of led down this realm of this whole metabolic reset where I came to realize that most people are over fatigued, not under exercised. And as soon as you get mm-hmm. them to catch back on their rest, you get the metabolism back online. I call it effortless, effortless weight loss. Mm-hmm. You bring the metabolism back online by resting more and regenerating the system back online. And all of a sudden people lose weight, they get their energy back, their focus back. It's like they get their life back. Mm-hmm. And it didn't take the effort that uh, is deemed necessary in the fitness world to create that. Sure. And so the reset just has become this program. We're now turning into Mox Life because who gets the best results with it is typically women because women are looking for an answer because they're struggling. And man, all that's out there for most women is just go beat yourself up at the gym, starve yourself, like right. make it worse. Right. And all of a sudden, here's the system that says, hey, eat more, exercise less, catch up on your sleep, and oh my God, I lose weight and feel great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. (laughs) And then it's moving on from there. No, I was going to say, you know, it's funny because I I like a 10-week challenge where I like guarantee people will drop two sizes and and it's it's those, like we probably work out, I think like four to five hours a week, I tell them to set aside, which is, I mean, some people are spending over an hour a day, right? And and it's right. small things like, you know, even with my regular clients, I'll tell them, you know, can you just get like one extra hour of sleep in than you normally do? Like not even trying to get, you know, the the eight hours just yet. Like, let's just add one more hour. And, and they're always surprised when they've been gaining weight that, that that is like something that would actually help versus that I'm telling them to go spend an extra hour in the gym. So I love that you guys yeah. are, are preaching that and that you're able to find that for yourself and your clients. So I guess, you know, one thing we had chatted about before we hit record was just the difference in metabolism for women. Do you want to touch on that a little bit? Just because I think women don't really know about some of those things that would make it harder for them in particular to lose weight, but could be helpful. Yeah. I have a really good buddy uh, named Dr. Jade Tiba. Mm-hmm. And I spent a lot of time discussing, especially after I crashed, like really discussing what happened, actually like discussing why my reset works. Because at the time, mm-hmm. I didn't even understand why it mm-hmm. worked. I had just been challenged by Harper Collins to come up with a 21-day plan or less if I wanted a book deal. Okay. Um, <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I, I, to- I, I totally stumbled on the actual 21-day reset by accident. It was like, here's what we're willing to pay you. You come up with a plan. I'm like, I want that paycheck. So right. I'll figure it out. And so I kind of stumbled on it. And, and after I stumbled on it, it was like, what, what happened? Like, why is this working? And what I learned is the metabolism is really just a stress barometer. The most dangerous thing to the metabolism is stress. Mm. And it's the one thing nobody's being coached on it. And actually the solution, if you don't like your metabolism, is put more stress on it. <laughs> and women are highly susceptible to stress, especially as they get older. The older woman gets, the more susceptible to stress she is. Mm-hmm. So... The biggest thing you have to watch out for with a woman's metabolism is that whole realm of stress. And what's funny is that, you know, here I am, this guy that works all these professional athletes and these Navy SEALs, and, and I just, reality check was that, huh, I have no emotional tie to what a woman thinks she needs. Hmm. I just, I can basically go in and decipher it and say, oh, this is what the woman, the female metabolism is, this is what it needs, this is how you fix it. I'm a guy. I, I have all these built-in ideas of what a guy needs that are wrong, right? That I'm always trying to emotionally overcome. Sure. So it's been very easy for me to meet women and work with them and get the results they're looking for. Even if they've been struggling for years to get a result, it's because I can break it down and see, oh, okay, we got your stress under control. You know, where are you at? Are you uh, perimenopause, menopause, postmenopause? That changes everything. Um, mm-hmm. And basically build metabolic programs around the metabolic profile of where a woman is in any specific time in her life to fix what's broken and then to optimize it. And it's just amazing at how much better the results are for a woman when they take care of their stress first and apply the right strategies for where they are in life. It's, it's fascinating to watch. Sure. And that is definitely true. I mean, for women, let's say, I know like a typical, I'm sure you experience this too, like, personal training client is a woman who's recently hit menopause for several reasons, but there's those hormonal changes that factor in just even if they weren't experiencing other forms of stress in their life, but that just compounds it, right? The fact that, you know, the changes that our bodies go through as women and then the added stress, you know, doesn't, doesn't help uh, make those easier to combat. And so, you know, often I'll have women who really are honest when they say, and maybe someone listening is going through this, that they haven't changed anything in their diet, but then they're suddenly gaining weight. And it's, it's, you know, you want people to know it's not their fault, but that there's things that they can do to change it. And, and I guess you had the 21 day challenge for yourself to come up with that plan. I mean, what, so what are you seeing in women that are, are doing that 21 day challenge? Like, what are some things that they're able to see after that short time period, which I feel like is very empowering just to kind of have people wrap their mind around. They don't have to be 
spending a lot of time in the gym, but also spending like a huge amount of time. Even Medora, you're saying what two weeks was what you started feeling that energy shift as well. So anything like, you know, you could mention that they're experiencing after the 21 days and just kind of the, uh, some small steps that they're taking, I guess, to yeah, make them feel empowered that there can be some big changes. Yeah. And that's, that's my favorite part of it is the empowerment prospect that comes with it. Because oftentimes as a woman's metabolism is changing with age and menopause and all that, how the hormones shift, a lot of times I've seen women just give up. Mm-hmm. Like, I guess this is the new reality. Mm-hmm. And the truth is it doesn't have to be like that. Mm-hmm. Um, so what we begin to see is we begin to see the energy come back. Um, we begin to see the weight loss. Like a lot of women have gone a long time without experiencing weight mm-hmm, loss. Mm-hmm. And that's very empowering, empowering to see, you know, you, you lose eight to 12 pounds over a three week period, but that's very exciting and very empowering, very, there's confidence, all those things. Mm-hmm. So we see that, we see the energy, we see better sleep. That is super critical because so many women want to sleep better, but the system's offline and it's all fighting against them and it makes sleep very challenging. So sleep comes back very quickly and brain fog, brain fog clears. Well, that's like the first thing that comes with brain clarity, brain fog, I can't even talk. Brain fog breaks up Mm -hmm. and crisp clarity comes within the first week. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Now, I won't lie, the first three days for for most people um, are pretty brutal. You're pretty tired. You kind of have a little headache. There's a little bit of um, slight detoxification kicking in. If you just get through the first three days, it's like magical every day after that. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. So the focus really is on on both mind and body. Can you kind of talk about how those two come together to, to have those changes happen? I can't yeah. uh, just because I went through it. Yeah. So I went through Brad's 21 day program three, I think it was three years ago. And that was before I had learned so much about the brain and mindset and the tools to use to, to really change that. Mm-hmm. And so this time when I went through it, I had it. I knew, I know how to use those tools. I use them with my clients all the time and I see huge breakthroughs. So having the two together, it changed everything. Mm. It changed. It just by day 10, I was, I had this clarity of where I needed to take my business. But then also when I contacted Brad, I was so clear that I'm like, Brad, we just need to do something together. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I didn't have that intention, but as we talked, there was just this, this ease that happened mm-hmm. and this clarity that happened and this focus and the whole business kind of came together with, in my head within 10 minutes. Mm-hmm. And I don't think that that would have happened before I had done the program again. So what I'm saying is by combining the two, the metabolic reset with the mindset program, it changes the game. It helps, it helps people have more. What we've seen with clients is that we've seen that they have this vision. And when you have a vision of where you want to go and how you want your life to look, it's a lot easier to one, stay on a program and stay motivated and inspired, but also to make it permanent. So that's the biggest thing that that we present with having both ends of the spectrum on there. So Mm -hmm. the mindset and then also the metabolic reset, that is what it brings for people. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. No, of course. I like that. Very cool. Yeah, our mind is is more powerful than we think, right? (laughs) Totally. It's amazing what it can do. (laughs) So you guys are – so this is something that you're kind of starting up like – combining these two pieces, the mindset piece and Brad's program, like kind of as, as we speak behind the scenes, right? Yes. Yeah. Brad's been doing it for a long time. I've been doing the mindset step for a long time. And now we're just kind of, it's like, it's like those um, Reese's bars. We're, we're <laughs> to, to better and to, you know, help, help so many more people mm-hmm. make it a permanent lifestyle. Mm-hmm. So the first thing that people, listeners can do is you guys have like a free little quiz questionnaire that can help them kind of see where they're struggling or what might be going on for them personally is something that they could start to engage with. Right. Yeah. It's a good, it's a good uh, barometer Mm -hmm. to see what's going on, what's going on in your world that's making it tough to lose that weight and to really change things. Mm -hmm. And anything like any, 
specific tools? Because I'm sure these might vary a little bit person to person, even though, as we mentioned, I think, you know, for everyone getting more sleep and the mindset piece, at least to me, maybe you guys can talk about this a little bit more, but to me, the mindset piece is often just figuring out why we're trying to make these changes in the, in the first place and trying to have that sense of purpose. But, um, you know, maybe that'd be different for different people, but do, do you guys find that, I guess maybe first I should ask you to define the mindset piece a little bit broader, just like what, what do you find that people are trying to have to change about their mindset or focus on with their mindset? Yeah. What happens with so many of us is that we have these recordings in our mind. So whether it's from your childhood or whether it's from your career or whether it's whatever experience it is, we have these recordings in our mind and they may have served us for a while, but then we get to a point where they're not serving us anymore. Mm. So it could be an example of this could be a financial ceiling. Maybe we're raised very middle class. So in our mind, we think that's, that is what we are possible of attaining. Mm -hmm. But once you reframe the mindset through these techniques that we incorporate, you can change that and you can accomplish so much more. The same happens with your body. Mm -hmm. So it's all kind of the same thing. So if your body, if you've always been a size, I don't know, size 10, but you want to feel athletic and maybe you want to go run a 10K, you can break those mental recordings in your head that tell you, no, I'm a walker. Mm. I am always going to be a size 10. Hopefully I don't go up to a size 14. You can break that and you can become that person that you want to become. And the beauty of it, it's almost like this magic wand. When you learn these tools, they're so easy to use and it's so easy to retrain your brain because you're getting to a subconscious level. Mm -hmm. So if I come to you and I say, you know, I want to make a million dollars this year and my, but I've only been making 25,000. That seems like such a difficult accomplishment to make. But if you start incorporating brain tools and a new way of thinking, that becomes something that you can see. And you figure out how to do it and you just start getting there and you build up that momentum and get you there. And it's no longer something that seems unattainable. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, no, of course. Of course, kind of breaking through those, what, what, I guess, mental barriers, right, that we kind of put on ourselves or limits that we put on ourselves. So, no, it's definitely important. Any, any like, quick strategies that you guys have for doing that for the mindset piece or, or even some of the other things? But I feel like the mindset piece is something we don't always think about. So that would be cool to hear about. A really quick tool that's so easy to use is I call it the rubber band trick. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of times we have negative thoughts. Most people have these where, you know, someone cuts you off and you think, what a jerk. (laughs) Whatever words may come out of your mouth Um, or about your partner, whoever, you know, whatever it is, we have these negative thoughts. And a really important tool to incorporate into your life is learning how to think more positive because those who think more positive are more successful in life. Mm. This is just a freaking fact. It's not something I made up. (laughs) So how this works is you put a rubber band or like a hair tie, you know, one of the, the little, not the loose hair ties, but the tighter ones, put it around your wrist. And every time you notice a negative thought, so let's say your husband um, forgets to fill up your car with gas for that, billionth time and I'm thinking of critically. <laughs> so what you do instead of thinking, God, what a jerk, I can't believe he did that again. You pull that little rubber band, you let it snap against your wrist, and then you replace that negative thought with at least three, but I prefer five positive thoughts. Mm-hmm. So things like, you know, but he's a great dad to my kids. He brought me a glass of wine last night when he knew I came home and I was really kind of tired and overwhelmed from work. He, um, he hung up his towel this time. (laughs) (laughs) But what happens is your brain starts to retrain itself and you start getting more positive Mm. and this progress into other parts of your life. So you don't need to keep a rubber band on your wrist forever. Just do it for a little while and it will become the way that you think. Mm, really cool. mm-hmm. And people shouldn't feel bad if they have negative thoughts because isn't that kind of our brain's default, right? So we really do have to train it to, to not think that way. 
Absolutely. It's yeah, that's, that's just human nature, <laughs> but you can consciously make an effort to change that and it changes worlds. Mm. Now, do you find like, how did, how did you find that spilling over into the fitness part of things for you? Like, is that, or is that something that you found when you were practicing that mindset piece? Oh, it's just one of the tools. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> one of the new- that I have in my in my little mental toolbox, but it's such an easy one mm. that anyone can do starting like right now. Mm-hmm. So that's when I bring out. So regardless of whether it's for your fitness, whether it's for for money, just starting with creating a positive mindset mm. that's huge. That'll change relationships. That will change careers. It will change the way that you are with your kids. It changes a lot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, for sure. Awesome. Well, I feel like I could talk to you guys for forever because there's, this is such like a juicy topic and, you know, there's a mindset piece and the physical fitness piece and just, you know, how our bodies are getting healthier from the inside out with the tools that you're using. So not just like Brad was saying, you know, you can look really good and on the outside, but maybe not be so healthy on the inside, but you guys want to share where people can follow you and where they can go to get the assessment. I will put that in the show notes, but just so they've heard it at least once. MidoriVerity.com forward slash mox quiz. Awesome, guys. Well, thanks so much for, for joining me today. Thanks for having nice talking to you. Yeah, thanks for having us. Thanks for listening to the Fit 15. For show notes and more, visit fitarmadello.com slash podcast. See you next time. Hi, friends. It's Catherine, and I hope you enjoyed today's episode of the Fit 15. I wanted to stop by here one more time for two reasons. One, to remind you to subscribe to the show and potentially check out episode 158 of the show because tomorrow's episode is going to be the second episode in a three-episode series where I'm sharing with you some fitness moves, exercise moves you can do with very minimal equipment, basically yourself and potentially an exercise bench or step or park bench. And that's really it. And what you'll be able to do after today's episode is combine some of the cardiovascular based exercises I shared in episode 158 with the exercises in tomorrow's episode, which will focus on upper body strength training exercises. So I hope you subscribe for that. Another thing I wanted to share with you is that to help you learn how to work out from home and do some cardiovascular and strength intervals, some circuit training on your own, you are eligible to check out our first Friday fitness class next month in April, on April 5th, 2019. That's a Friday. Brianna is hosting our first Friday fitness class, and that will be a 30-minute online group fitness class limited to 11 participants where you'll get to join in real time, get feedback on your form if you need it, and learn how to do an efficient, effective workout that requires no equipment, but will get your heart rate up and help you work on toning your body. And you can actually join that for free if you are a first timer. Yes, this class is free. So there are limited spots, as I mentioned. Don't miss out. Head over there now, fitarmadillo.com slash classes to reserve your spot. And tomorrow, get a taste of some exercises you can do from the comfort of your home that will help tone your upper body. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, awesome workouts, and to get to share some tips with you tomorrow. Bye.